Hello everybody, I'm Pat Sherwood. Welcome inside the CrossFit Update Studios, being joined today by Katrin David's daughter, two-time fittest woman in the world and star of the recent documentary, <laughs> Fittest on Earth. Katrin, thank you very much for stopping by. Hi, these guys are having me. <laughs> well, you were just lucky enough to be at the premiere of the movie out there in Boston. You know, what did you think seeing it for the first time? Oh my gosh. Um, absolutely amazing. Um, this movie was very special to me. Um, and I love the last one. I thought the guys did a terrific job of telling our stories, of taking the audience through the game season, um, getting it, you know, we know the outcome and still you're kind of like sitting on the edge of your seat, like excited to know what comes next. Um, and everything about it, I loved it. But this one was, it was something else and it was really, really special. Um, a lot of it had to do, you know, with my season and my grandma. Um, and that right. was very, very special to me. Um, I bawled my eyes out in the movie. Um, and everything around it. I, I came out of that movie feeling so proud. You know, I was so proud of having Ben Bergeron as my coach in our relationship in the movie. And, you know, my whole Bergeron family and my mom and my grandpa and my dad and like my friends, everyone that I have around me, I just came out just feeling so lucky and grateful. I mean, you had um, so much screen time and you were obviously such a, a critical character and, and part of the story. You just mentioned so many things that were emotional to you, but what was it like actually reliving those moments again? It was crazy. It was a lot of the moments I could actually like feel them happening. I could remember them so vividly. Um, I really don't think a lot about the games and I really don't, I don't watch the behind the scenes. I don't watch past events. I don't watch past games. I like living in the moment. I like that has nothing to do with my season right now and, and nothing in my past is going to give me any points for this season or this or that. So you constantly just got to put your head down and work. So I don't really like thinking about that. So I don't think too much about it, but seeing it on the screen, like, like the pegboard event, when they're showing that I can right, just like right. remember the feel of the matches. I can remember exactly like how high up I have to put my arms. I can remember the feel of when I was like going down. I can remember what's going through my head. It's absolutely it's crazy and it's amazing and I'm I'm really excited for everyone to get to see this. The Games Week, I can only assume, must be such a stressful event. You've got so many demands on you both physically and mentally, but you seem to be so incredibly positive the entire mm -hmm. time. How do you stay so positive? Um, that's just the mindset. Um, and I think they really capture the authenticity and really how we're feeling and we don't really see the camera. So what we say right there and then is really like what we're feeling and, and how it comes out. So I think it really comes through with how much we've worked on that with Ben, for example. Like every day in training, we work on our mindset and what we're focusing on and what we're thinking. So that when those situations come up for real in competition, we like there were events where you saw that I was bummed out and, and it wasn't my greatest moments. Um, but then you can see like, what Ben says to me to turn my mind around, you know, and to turn every event into a positive experience. Even if it's not the best thing, let's turn it into a great thing. Let's learn from it. Um, another thing is just like my family was there. I had my mom there. Um, I had my grandpa there. You know, I had breakfast with my and Heather every morning too. But our rule is that at breakfast, we don't talk about CrossFit. We don't talk about my competitors. We don't talk about my standing. I just want them to be there for me. And that's all. You know, so I just, I have an incredible support system and I think as long as my mood is up and like I can get spirits, I'm always excited and, and that's always how, you know, we perform our best. I think it's probably a good idea to set those kind of boundaries and I understand at the games, there's cameras everywhere. So maybe if there's an additional one following you, it's kind of easy to ignore that a little bit, but how was it actually having the cameras invade your home and your life there in Boston and follow you around your normal routine on a daily basis? Um, I actually love it. You know, I know the guys so well and, you know, I've known like Ian and Heber and Marston and Tyson and um, Michael Dalton actually came down for one of those and we just have a great time, you know? 
for most of the time, they're just recording my workouts or keeping me company or chatting or this or that. Sometimes they'll jump in on workouts with me. So we actually do just have a great time. And I really just feel like I can be myself around them. And I think that's the important thing that I trust what they get on camera. Um, we have a great time and they really just capture the moments. They're not, they're very good at not invading. If well, you know what I mean. Well, well you know? good. That makes me, yeah, that makes me very happy. It keeps <laughs> me employed. Well, thank you very much for uh, giving us some of your time. I wish you nothing but the best for 17-4 as well as the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. Katrin Davis, daughter, two-time champ, star of the recent documentary Fittest on Earth, will be available soon on both iTunes and the CrossFit Journal. So make sure you stay tuned to games.crossfit.com for all the details.